The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Don't move. Короче, с сохранениями какая-то проблема. То ли нету полноценной игры, где можно играть первый, второй, потом третий эпизод. В общем, пока я не могу найти. Так как прохождение второго эпизода у меня есть на канале, то возьму сразу проходить третий эпизод, но уже с, с русскими субтитрами, с, русской, с русским интерфейсом. Но, к сожалению, сохранение, через которое я начал играть после второго эпизода здесь, которое у меня пошло, было прохождение не по самым идеальным вариантам. Он у меня там с Жаком Перу вроде как подрался, он там глаз получил, что-то такое. Но это на самом деле не важно. Важно то, что мы можем сделать по-другому в этот раз. То есть... В зависимости от того, как я проходил первый раз, можно будет что-то переделать, поступить по-другому, например, не за Мортимера пойти, а за Холма. Ну и попробовать спасти Жака, так как он в первом прохождении, я помню, совершил самоубийство. Там был вариант что-то сделать, предпринять. Сейчас попробуем. Wait, I don't... So you've come at last. Easy. Let me turn around. Oh my god, Mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, Mother! Who are you? It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. You won't catch me out like that. Louis. Louis isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? Короче, не помню я, но надо открывать какие-то слабые сильные стороны. Let's go, mother. Let's go home. In all my heart, there's nothing I want more. But I know you won't let me leave. You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. I don't wish you any harm. Really, mother. It's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are, what was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? Always keep your mind logical. <laughs> And open. You knew it. You are smart. You're getting me muddled up. 
tell me rather, whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? I just told you, you can't trick me. His name was Von Borchert. My God, everything is lost then. I refuse to believe it's really you, Louis. Otherwise, all this would be for nothing. Mother, I, I don't know what happened to you, but don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm here for you and- No, I ordered you not to come with me. I received a letter and Lord Mortimer informed me of your disappearance. So I took the- No, no, no. It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that. Have you spoken to him? Oh, shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Don't believe it. I, I thought I'd meet him the moment I arrived, given the situation. But not at all. He didn't even bother to meet me in person. I imagine that Elizabeth was still here. Very well. Logical and open, Louis. Since you arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. Ну, на в английской версии, когда играл первый раз, вот насчет видений лучше не говорить, а то у нее паника начнется. Про кабинет, не знаю, можно в принципе сказать. Нашел вас без руки, наверное. Давайте скажем. Personally, I think that you being missing for three days and then me finding you underground minus a hand, well. That qualifies as strange, don't you think? No, my hand is not important for the moment. If that's the only thing you found that shocks you, then all is well. Now shut up and listen to me. We might still have a chance. Something of utmost importance is going to play out right here. What are you talking about? A conference, Louis. I should think all Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, haven't they? Yes, they have, since this morning. Perfect. The conference will be able to begin. Indeed. It shouldn't be long and- Let me finish. We haven't time. You will attend this conference and you must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Right. I'll do what you ask of me. But calm down, please, Mother. Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. We are in the lion's den. What do you mean? Mortimer, Holm, their guests, watch what happens. Do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own without anyone else? On an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy? No, not really, but- Louis, they shape the world. They manipulate us. Everything is decided here and now. They create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! Mother, calm yourself, please. Nothing is impossible for them. They are capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all. And it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference and, from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. We can talk later. I'll explain everything. But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promised me that after- Yes, after. Go now. Yes, mother, I'm going, I'm going. One more thing, Mother. Emily Hillsborough, Emma's sister, came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and... It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis.
Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. сюда Mr. Dorichet, you are expected at the conference. Please take the door to your left to join the guests. Chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of yes, water. Yes, she asked him at last, and he could not help answering her, but she said he seemed quite angry at being spoken to. But it is not sound, you know, it is not sound. Your conjecture is totally wrong, I assure you. I have suspected it for some time. A Chinese coin, recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember a fragment of amber. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. Cut. In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume? Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? 
of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited. But as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the Assembly for it to become French. But how does that concern me? Well, you see, I prepared this project with your mother. We began thinking about a crazy idea. Unfortunately, Sarah went missing before getting the bigger picture. I don't intend to stop at Louisiana. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand. Two democracies illuminating the world. I understand, but what do you expect of me? I want the Order's support. I'm going to need allies to carry forth my project. In France, as well as in all the countries where the Order operates. The concept of royalty is from bygone times. It is time to lead the way to democracy. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You didn't know about everything. His project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. My friends, I propose we get started. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur. I Louis. hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake! It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. 
If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. I'm sorry about the fate of the King of France, Duke Manuel. However, I'm surprised at your remark. How can a man like me have changed the course of things where a man like you, powerful, capable of influencing international politics, was unable to do any better? Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other, more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But... Well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer, I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? But I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, we but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet. That does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. It obviously doesn't stop you from sleeping at night. Not in the least. Do not imagine I have anything against the American Indians or the Blacks. That is not the question. But business is business. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. Man, it might as well be the likes of you who rule. Is that right? But of course. Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway, these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see, colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me, if you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? We are neighbors, Duke Manuel. Remember, your main rival in Europe is more likely to be England, who is plowing the seas right up your coastline. Hand over Louisiana to France and make her a prime ally. Come, Louis. Spain and Great Britain are already allies and have nothing to gain by breaking their alliance. Even if I do agree, Duchess, 
The omnipresence of the English fleet in Atlantic waters does not particularly please me. I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Am I imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher ein, wenn Emily nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are grave times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Home? Godoy and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? Ну а тут прошлый раз я выбрал сторону Мортимера, но это не так интересно. Давайте выберем этого напудренного дурака. At the risk of displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No! Let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately! Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. But they haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? I know about his plan. What did you just say, Louis? His aim is for the United States to take the whole of the North American continent. But that is impossible! A democratic superpower? I don't understand. That has nothing to do with the coming vote. You will ask for France to take over Louisiana, and then hand it over to the United States, and so double the size of their territory. Once that's done, he will just need to push a bit more, and you will lose North America, Duke Manuel. God's blood! Has he gone mad? No, Johan. 
He has always been mad. <sighs> Louis, I would like to thank you for what you've just revealed. If not for you, I don't know if we'd have been capable of deciphering his plans quickly enough to be able to counter him. What are we going to do now that we know about it? Destroy him. No! We'll beat him at his own game, my friends. His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, war is what you'll get. And on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. What do you expect from the Papal States, Sir Gregory? What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. And me, Sir Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The Order will have to act in France, but even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis? I'd like to see you a moment, please. Thank you for siding with me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. I'll do my best. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Только как? Как это возможно вообще? Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. All right. I've retrieved everything. Hey, Peru's name tag's fallen off, and his door's ajar. A pattern with four circles. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. All right. I've retrieved everything.
records of the police, notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris, and there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. Amber crystals. курицы почему-то никогда нельзя вот это печально ну хоть к мануэ или годой можно Manuel Godoy, a painting of himself in his room. Now that's not gonna... Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hey, it looks like someone slipped something in the back here. It's a letter. Let's see what it says. It reeks of perfume, and it's written in Spanish. Godoy, you really are a little devil. So, let's see what it says. Сокровище мое, прости, что снова пришлось уехать, пускай ради благополучия моей страны. У меня разрывается сердце от того, что мы расстались в ссоре, потому что ты любовь всей моей жизни, Жозефа. Ты же знаешь всем, что у меня есть и что я могу бросить к твоим ногам. Я обязан королеве. Останься со мной, прошу тебя, ради нашей любви, ради наших будущих детей. Не ревнуй, молю. Все мои мысли только о тебе, а все остальное не больше, чем фарс. It seems that the queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Mm. If the queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Mm, это можно, значит, надавить на него. Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about that one. Golden elixir. Hmm. I'll keep it for later. Amber crystals. Maria Luisa of Parma. Although not Godoy's true love, the queen is his benefactress, according to some people. Devil's thorn. То, что нужно. Шкатулка. Нет, что-то нельзя ее открывать. Ты 
этому тоже постоянно нельзя. К Джузеппе. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. The president's personal reserve of laudanum, and judging by the quantity, he can't go without it. Ah, there's also a letter. Так, Вашингтон. Отвечаю вам при первой же возможности. Мы говорили о вашем здоровье до того, как вы уехали, и никаких изменений не последовало. Прошу, вспомните мои рекомендации и прекратите принимать настойку опия. Я уже ищу замену, но боюсь, ждать вы не будете. Если продолжите злоупотреблять опием, то рискуете не получить новый мандат. Зависимость плохо сказывается на вашей службе, мой друг. Сожалею. Но вам придется отказаться от опия. Искренне ваш доктор в этом там. Ну тоже есть как, как надавить на него. Так что может быть это пригодится в будущем. И янтарь. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Portrait of George Washington. in my room. Uh, as I walked by your room, I... I noticed the door was open. I wanted to check that no one had gone in. Hmm. And what is the outcome of your investigation, Inspector de Richer? Go ahead. Laugh it off. I, I didn't see anyone, Mr. President. Splendid. All is safe and sound. Well, since you're here, can I get you something to drink? No, no thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late, and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. 
You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's nothing for you to feel bad about. So what can I do for you? Mr. President, Lord Mortimer treats you purely and simply like the least of his pawns. He gives you no explanation and then commits you to a project from which you have nothing to gain. But you know that more than I do. Is that what siding with Mortimer is all about? I must confess that I don't entirely understand William lately. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis. What have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? Долг перед матерью. Ну, шантаж, это я не знаю, это на крайняя мера. Пошатнуть доверие. Давайте шантаж. I regret to have to resort to such extreme measures, but if you really care about your career, Mr. President, I must ask you to follow me. I beg your pardon, Louis? Do I detect a threat in your voice, my boy? You're addicted to laudanum. We both know that this is a powerful opiate that you take on a daily basis to excess. If you don't want it to be disclosed publicly, I entreat you to change sides, Mr. President. Louis, I was wrong about you. You learn even quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, the fact that you are here trying to blackmail me only makes me cringe even more. You are now walking a dangerous path, young man. I would never give in to this sort of tactic. Do you have any persuasive arguments? Mm, вот я даже не знаю. Лично он мне ничего не сделает. С Мортером он офигеть какой карифан. Ну, перед матерью только сказать вот это. You owe it to my mother. She helped you in your early days. She supported you when you needed it. I'm certain she'd be against this plan. Do you know who introduced me to Sarah all those years ago? Lord Mortimer. Do you know who advised Sarah to start up a chapter of the Golden Order with me in the United States? Lord Mortimer? You see my point, then? I have a lot of respect for your mother, Louis. But my allegiance is to Lord Mortimer. Listen, Louis. If I had any doubts about Lord Mortimer's project, I stand reassured now. I hope Sir Gregory has more tricks up his sleeve than you do. Because I regret to inform you that, as far as politics is concerned, you've got a lot to learn. But you are still young, so don't worry. On that note, I would like to get some sleep. Please leave me now. Good night, Mr. President. Shit. That was a failure. There's nothing more I can do except wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Так, хотелось бы сразу переиграть эту тему. Надо как-то его выиграть. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. 
I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. <laughs>